so now that you've uh, you've put the uh, the update on your SD card, um, you know, and you, everything's over there uh, correctly, uh, this is one way you can tell your scope is not updated. Let's go into the menu, long press. We're going to scroll through here, and we're looking for an option of mode. Since I don't see anything with mode, we know this one has not been updated. It's one one easy way to fi figure that out. Okay. So now that we have that on there, we're going to go to update. No upgrade file. So this actually means that the that the card uh, was not done correctly. So I'm going to do that and come back and resume the video. That's what you'll see if there's an error um, for or if the the video or the um, excuse me the firmware update is not actually on the SD card. Now we'll click it. It'll say system update accept or ignore. We'll go ahead and accept it. And this actually takes a few minutes, so we'll let the video play so you can see how long it should take, so you have a good idea, so you're not, you know, not worried about anything being wrong. Okay, now so this is a good way to know that your scope has been updated or is updated because this reticle is actually our traditional reticle. This is the same reticle you would see in uh, a traditional glass scope. Um, you would zero this at 100 or 50 yards wherever you would you would zero your traditional rifle um, and, and this is where that zero would say. So you can tell also when I go up here to select the yardage, I can't change that. There's no I can't actually change the, the, the reticle itself uh, or the yardage itself. Um, the only change you can make here would be if I long press, go into the reticle, I can actually change this to uh, a red option. But once again, um, this is just a traditional reticle where you would you would put in a zero and and that's where it would stay. Um, we do not recommend doing anything in this mode besides just using it once again for a traditional reticle. So let's go here to mode and then we'll actually kind of walk through the differences in the update. So here let's go to ballistic. Keep in mind now once you update this scope and once the scope is updated. This is where uh, this is what will come up every time you turn on the scope. It'll ask you for traditional or ballistic. You always want to go into ballistic mode. So select ballistic. Now we have just a, a standard crosshair uh, style reticle, um, which there will be more of these added later on. But here you've got uh, you know you've got your different options for what which reticle you want. So we'll stay with red just kind of so it's easier to see in the video. Um, so one of the other changes here, we'll walk through the, the menu options here. But what you can see is uh, uh, the uh, so sleep mode. We'll go in here. The good the good use for sleep mode is obviously for, to save battery power. But let's say you're in a blind or you're somewhere and you actually want to turn the let the scope rest and you have the app running. You can see what's going on uh, through the app while it's streaming. Uh, while this is in, so you see now this is it's off. Go ahead and do a quick press the power button back on, uh, and we're back we're back running right. Uh, next option here. So this is another update with the uh, with the uh, with new firmware. It's actually a, a smart range finding bracket. So we'll turn this on. Um, let's go ahead and go whitetail. It's almost deer season here in Texas, so let's go ahead and get whitetail deer on there. You notice here, right here, it has the it has the the size. This is the average known height of an animal from ground to shoulder. So it kind of gives you a, a kind of a good measurement uh, of a distance, and we'll walk through how that kind of looks too as well. So let's go ahead and, and so let's say that you live, uh, you know, in, in the North, northern part of the United States, where your deer are a little bit taller, a little bit bigger bodied, uh, what you can do is actually, uh, you know, change uh, the the height here. Let's say, let's select that. Uh, say, I want to make this. Uh, let's go. Let's go 37 for easy conversation sake here in a second. Get real granular with it. 37. There we go. Okay. Now, you, now you can see this bracket. So what this is telling us at 100. At, I'm sorry. At 50 yards at 1x. A white-tailed deer that's 37, 37 inches from ground to shoulder, that's what it should fit in. So let's say I have a range where I get to sight thing. I get to, I have a, I have a range that will go, uh, let's say, let's go, let's take this up. And you notice this is actually a little bit slower once you have that bracket. Let's say we have 150 yards. So I know at 150 yards that my rifle is dead on. I am super confident in the ability to take a shot at 150 yards. So... At 4x, 150 yards from ground to shoulder, this is where a white-tailed deer should fit. So that way, when you take that shot, you know you're making an ethical shot that you know you're zeroed in. So for at 150 yards, at 4x, that's exactly where that 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 uh, about that that is exactly what 37 inches will look at at that magnification at that distance. As you change your magnification, as you change your distance, that bracket changes size as well. Uh, there's 
uh, a list, a long list of animals in there. If there's not one in there, there's actually an option for manual where you can, uh, you know, you can put your own height in, say, if you're hunting squirrel or whatever, whatever it is, right? So let's go into the next mode here. Update, we already went over that. That's how you update the file. Um, day, night, obviously it's day and night mode. You see that red tint, now you're in night mode. Also, you can see down here the moon. Go back to day mode. We have a sun, right? This is another change, too, with the firmware. So typically, in the past, what you would have to do Let's say that I want to shoot a 223. I'd have to go put in 223 to get to that profile, and I want to switch to a 308. I have to go put in 308 or wherever that profile was. Well, now what we have is you actually put a list in here. So let's say we're going to go, let's go to one of the most popular calibers out there right now, is a 6.5 Creedmoor, right? So we're going to type in 6.5 Creed, 6.5. Okay. And go down here and select 6.5. Now you see down here, it actually says 6.5, right? 6.5. So now once I zero that in, that zero is held for the 6.5. Now I can go back here, same thing, go to that bullet icon, select 223. Now I'm back to my zero for the 223, right? Let's say that uh, you're actually doing crossbow. This is some we see a lot of people do this for crossbow, right? Just X. You do whatever you want to. You can put... 45 whatever you want to to make to, to make sure that, that this makes the most sense for you now we have another profile so I can save my profile my profile for the crossbow we'll have more uh, videos later on about sight in and how to how to focus and all that but this is kind of a good uh, good selection right so let's say we're gonna go here all right that that, that, uh, that kind of gives you the idea of how to put your your different uh, systems in and hold that zero for each system make sure you know you, you save those and move uh, move around uh, another change here is going to be the settings. So obviously Wi-Fi on and off. If you're going to be running your optic, you need to make sure, or I'm sorry, running the, the app, make sure that the Wi-Fi is running there. Another change here is actually uh, we added an option for, uh, so if you're act running our rechargeable batteries, the ones that come with the, the AccuFire, uh, you actually can see the exact percentage from you know 1 to, to, to 100% to let you know when that battery is going to be dying. With the store-bought non-rechargeable, what you will see is uh, actually a greater than or less than 50% to kind of let you know how much time you have left on those batteries. Factory reset is now in here as well. Um, this is one place where you can actually change your brightness. So you can change your brightness here. Or you can come here, go long press, pass the menu. Now you're in your brightness. Okay. Let's get out of this. This is where all your pictures, and uh, we don't have any pictures or, or uh, videos here, but actually I can show you real quick. Let's do a quick patch to the power button. We took a, we just took a picture, right? So now we can go in here. This is going to show us where all our pictures are. And that is going to be the menu for the updated Noctis V1. Stay tuned for more videos so we can get more uh, to you.